It's 2013, and I'm staring at a new Blot toy. Yeah, he's called Blight now, but I know who it is. You know who it is. We live in a world where even Blot can get new toys, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for this world. But let's have at it anyway. Blight in beast mode is a... Uh, an ogre? I don't know. I always thought he looked more like the original Terrasque design for the D&D fans out there. Regardless, he's a navy blue and lavender beast of hulking nature. Love the sculpt on the head here with a big fang jaw and bladed mohawk. Looks nice overall, despite his obvious robot mode hands. You'll find plenty of articulation on him. Ball jointed shoulders and hips, forearm swivels, and the claws can open up. Catch is the swivel is blocked by the elbow spikes, and the hips give you forward and back rotation at best, so he ends up kinda limited. You do have to watch out for balance too, his arms are big enough to tip him over if he's hunched over too far. Like the others, he has ports to weaponize him with his affliction hammer, which is totally different from Twin Strike's piston hammer. Unlike Twin Strike, he has far fewer places to mount the weapon, and somehow being blot, the mouth mount actually kinda works for him. Still, there is a certain charm to this undefined dragon thing. Transforming is pretty basic. He's an Optimus Minor, or Beast Machine Silverbolt, as it were. Arms are legs, and legs are arms. Half the change is flipping him over, though added to that are the hinged torso halves that narrow his hips and widen his shoulders. A very nice inclusion to have. In robot mode, Blight is... mostly the same, frankly. Details are the same, just upside down from before, so at least his faction logo comes out right. Design-wise, our addition is the head, which confuses me. It's a very classic sound wave with what looks like a big jaw on his faceplate, but it's too low to make me think that's his mouth, which is what I think they intended. Instead, it just looks like a metal beard on sound wave. Despite that, while the details are the same, I like how they work in robot mode better. The high blades off the shoulders look good, as do the knee spikes on the legs. Like Ripper Snapper, the bent arms keep him from looking as stiff as Twin Strike, but we also add the bend to the knees to give him more of a brutish look. For articulation, he's got the same four ball joints, shoulders and hips, and they have good range. We also add a knee rotation, which works much better than it did as elbow rotation in beast mode. And once again, we have the hammer weapon, in gun mode or head bashing mode, in either hand. Something about that bend to the elbow makes him look like he's really eager to lay into someone's skull with this thing. Really good choice of weapon for him. And again, it can store away on his back. Not that the Robo Caveman here would ever be without it. So let's be honest here. His modes aren't too different from each other, and his articulation is average for a Legion class. But I have to admit, there's a strange charm to the toy. Just the novelty of a new Blot toy amuses me enough, but he manages to be a pretty good looking bot while he's at it. If you like oddities in your collection, this is one I can recommend, but the casual buyer isn't going to get the appeal of him. And with that, we've only got one Terracon to go.